Hello, my name is Elias Saddam. I'm from the SCORE dev team and today I will show you how to write your first flow using slang. Slang stands for SCORE language, is a YAML based language for writing workflows. It's compatible with all of the YAML spec and therefore you can write and edit in any editor that has some YAML support. For this tutorial we're going to use Sublime Text which we already made some plugin that have snippets and basic syntax highlighting for slang and we're going to write a very basic flow that gets first name and last name of a person as inputs and concat them to a full name with an underscore between. Okay, so for this demo I created a new file named flow.sl. SL is an extension for slang and that's how Sublime plugin recognizes your language. Uh, we have snippets, so the first snippet I'm going to use is the slang file skeleton. I will just start typing slang and hit tab and we have here for a slang file we need to define the namespace which is the package that our file will be registered under in our case I will call it just demo.flow and we have the imports in all of the snippets I'm going to show if a keyword is marked with a hash which is YAML convention for comment, it means that this keyword is not mandatory. Okay, so I will get back to imports in a moment. Now we get to our next snippet, the flow. I will just start writing flow and hit tab. We can see that flow has two mandatory keywords, a name, which is for logging and for referencing another flow, and the workflow, where, where the actual workflow logic relays. We also have uh, optional keys like inputs and outputs of the flow for everyone that consumes it or if he wants to run it you need to provide the inputs and result is a logical key for whoever consumes the flow to know where to navigate in its tasks we will get to that in a moment as well okay so I'm going to go ahead and give my flow a name okay let's go with simple flow in our flow we also need inputs, so I will go ahead and put first name and last name of the person and we want to start defining our workflow. So our workflow is built from tasks. We have the task keyword again, start typing it and hitting tab. And my task has several properties itself. We have the task name, which is used for logging. Uh, we have the do keyword. That under the do keyword, we're referencing the operation or subflow that we want to run in this task. We have the publish. Uh, under the publish, we define outputs that will be available for other tasks in our flow and we have the navigate that we decide to what other task we want to go. Publish and navigate are not mandatory and by default navigate unless you define another behavior will go on success to the next task in the workflow and on failure to the flow failure. I will go ahead and give my task a name concat names and now I need to go and reference the operation that is supposed to run in this task. So I made an operation in advance. It's called concat strings. It gets for inputs two strings, str1 and str2. And it runs a Python script action that basically just put the join result in a variable and then print it out. We also have an output for this operation, concat result, which is bound from the result of the Python script variable. And we have here in the result success. This script always goes to success. We don't have any other results. This operation is registered under the dem ops namespace. So now if I want to reference this demo ops that concat string operation in my flow. So first I'm going to import the operations namespace into my flow. I'm doing it by giving an alias ops 
to the namespace demo.ops and now I'm just going ahead and reference this operation in my task ops this is the, the alias for demo ops concat strings now I'm going to pass the inputs to this operation so I will give str1 first name and str2 I will give last name another very nice thing you can do with slang is that every input or output bindings get actually an expression a Python expression so you can go ahead here and write any valid Python expression in our case I'm going to add the underscore to the first name and also you can provide default values to your inputs let's give a default value for our person and now let's see everything in action okay so let's start the slang CLI we have slang uh, for both Windows and Linux operating system this is the slang shell I can write help to see all the available commands okay I'm gonna clean it and now I want to first see the inputs I need to provide for my flow I just type inputs minus minus f, f and give the path of my flow okay so I need to provide first name and last name as we saw we gave defaults so I don't really need to give it I can just run this flow you can see that the task concat name was ran that the Python printed John Doe meaning that inputs were passed right to the operation and we have the success result of the flow we also have some statistics about the execution now we can go ahead and run it with inputs and just provide first name to be something else again you can see that the input first name was passed to the operation and printed as expected thank you for watching this tutorial we hope you got to know slang a little bit better if you want more info about slang and score you can visit our website at the link below and again thank you very much for watching